What is up everyone, HTG Brian here, and we are back with more Zombie Army 4! This is the Dead War. Level 2 Death Canal, where we're going to get all 17 of those collectibles, including the heroic action. And uh, we're going to get a handful of trophy achievements as well. One for getting three headshots, one for reaching level 5, I believe it is. Uh, and then also one for popping the head of a resurrected zombie. And then, of course, for completing Death Canal itself. This level was a nightmare, and I do want to suggest you guys take advantage of the quick links down below in the video description. The reason being is, is that there is a lot of unnecessary footage here, but I didn't want to chop it up and do kind of a point and shoot type of uh, collectible run. So instead of uh, just giving you a point of emphasis like, oh, here's the fountain and here's the collectible, I wanted to run from the beginning to the end, which is how we've always done the Sniper Elite and Zombie Army series videos. And uh, we're going to keep on with the keeping on here. This one is just really long because you got to get on this boat and there's all sorts of fighting. So this particular video has tons of edits. I'm going to try to minimize those in the future so that it's just basically collectible running. But there's lots of gameplay here too. So this is kind of like a second look at the game as well. Now, as you can see here, we've hopped on the boat. And as we go down the canal, we find ourselves under a broken bridge. And a bunch of zombies are going to drop in and try to ruin our party. Now, my aim needs to get good, but beyond that, we do a pretty all right job of fending our boat and allowing us to continue here. It's going to happen in a hot second. Ooh, and look at that. For the time being, I actually have more points than Tyler. He's probably got a multiplier wrapped up, though, that's about to drop. Watch this. Watch this. He's going to go flying by. Anyways, maybe, maybe not. Maybe we'll just go ahead and go to another edit. As we continue down the canal, we're going to find ourselves with tons and tons of zombies. Now, you can use this time to get some XP up and take some of those guys out, or you can just stand there and enjoy the view like you're at Disneyland riding down the old Jungle Cruise. This one is a little bit more exciting, and uh, there is a possibility of death that could happen as well. Now, uh, we are getting fairly close to the point in the video where I do get the triple headshots. Um, and it, there are plenty of spots just like this that I can recommend to go ahead and try. And I think that was it right there, actually. But uh, it takes a hot second for that trophy slash achievement to ring off. And I do believe that uh, once this multiplier cashes in, that it's going to take me to uh, either a level 5 or a level 10. I think it's level 5 is blood splattered. I could be wrong on that, though. But it's a level. Oh, there it is. Level 5. So basically, we get a couple of trophy achievements here. We also get a new perk slot unlocked inside our main menu there for getting the levelage upage and uh now you can see we've actually completed this particular little standoff here and we can keep on with the keeping on now i pay lots of attention to all of these crates tyler doesn't give any <laughs> any time or effort to any of those and that's okay it just leaves a lot more shopping for me to do now uh uh, speaking of Tyler, special thanks to him for taking the time out to not only help find these collectibles, but guide me to each and every one of them and protect me from my zombie death. As you guys probably know already, if you get got by a zombie in this game, you actually turn into a zombie. And there is a trophy achievement for actually taking one of your teammates out after they have become a zombie. So uh, we actually played a little bit of co-op on a live stream the other day, and we got that trophy achievement during the live stream play. So I'll try to chop that up and explain it in a little better detail than was shown. Um, and, and hopefully we'll get a video up that'll be helpful for you guys in the event that you are needing some help. Realistically, it's pretty easy. You just got to have a friend get online and uh, basically die and then shoot them. Now, you do not have control over the zombie once you die and become a zombie, but you can watch the camera perspective so you can kind of tell your buddy where you are. So, oh, I'm over here by the boat or I'm over here. And, and uh, another fun fact for you is that if you're playing on a higher difficulty other than easy, there is likely going to be friendly fire. So uh, playing through, trying to get the collectibles, we're gonna play through on easy if you haven't already picked up on that. And uh, that is going to prevent us from shooting each other and causing extra turmoil. Now, as we get to the next checkpoint here, we have to find and return three fuel canisters. This is actually going to be a good time for us to, well, admire this zombie shark here. But also to go and, uh, let's see, we're going to double back and go on the other side of the boat here. And up and into this building for document one. So up the stairs and around the corner, we got two flights of stairs, actually. We're going to turn around. There's not only a crate here with a attachment for one of your guns, but also a document sitting right here on this box, ready to rocks. Ooh, it's the Nacho Propaganda. Good news, friends and allies. I don't know what that reads out to be, but you can actually read all those, checking them out from the collectible uh, page from the main menu when you're in, like, the lobby or at your stat screen. 
And now, let's see, we've got to take the fuel can to the boat. There's also some snipers out there. There is a trophy achievement for shooting a, j a sniper while he jumps. We're going to cover that as well. Of course, we're going to do all of the collectibles first and do the co-op play for not only completing the game with uh, four players, but also for playing it on hard difficulty. So that's another. So it'll be like a double whammy. At least that's the planning. And uh, so, yeah, but we're going to get through both of those. And then once we get done with that, we're actually going to come back and do a bunch of trophy achievement videos and do any cleanup. And then uh, hopefully we'll get that platinum trophy one of these days on a live stream. There's lots of horde mode stuff that we need to do as well. So we'll probably be checking that out on the live streams once we get a little further in. Shoot it, man. Shoot it in the head. That is the trophy achievement for taking out a resurrected zombie in the head. Basically, that's pretty simple. As you can see right in the background right there, they're, they're popping up. They're resurrecting. They're coming back from the dead again. And all you have to do is just shoot one of those guys who has, uh, you know, gone through that animation and pop them in the head. That's right. Pow! Right in the kisser. All right. So these snipers are a pain in the old tuchus. We are going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit down the canal. And look at that. Now we have to find and use some bridge controls. When you get to this stop, we're going to hop into this building and go up the stairs following our Tyler guide here. Now watch this. Look at that shadowy mess on the wall there. Turns out it's the zombie hand. Now, <laughs> don't uh, pay any attention to my aim. It's not a business. Oh, I don't know. Was that funny or not? I, I was shaking my head. I, I, I knew that joke was coming. So you can see Carl was shaking the camera perspective there. Out on the back balcony behind where we picked up that zombie hand, there is going to be another crate that should lead to an attachment for your weapon. Hopefully that'll provide some assistance as we keep on with the keeping on here. We got a little bit of time before we get to the next collectible. And keep in mind, too, we also have quick links to each of the chapters. Now, chapter one is by far the longest. Chapter two was also pretty lengthy. But chapter three and chapter four are pretty short, in fact. So that's good news to look forward to. But if you've already completed chapter one or maybe got all the collectibles uh, from here on out, then go ahead and use that chapter two quick link. And that'll take you right on through. Now, just word to the wise. That's helpful for you, not for us. Actually, the... Uh, if you were to stay here and watch the whole video, that helps us a tremendous amount more as watch time, views, and all that stuff adds up in the YouTube algorithm. But we don't care about that. We want you guys to get through this and have a good time and find our videos useful and uh, efficient as well. That's always been a, uh, a tactic of ours, is efficiency. And if we can throw in some humor and stuff along the way, that was an added bonus. Now, we have quite a long stretch here where there's kind of like battle ensuing but also uh ground is being made right now we're trying to find and use the bridge controls we are getting relatively close to where we need to be uh, but as you can see there's just tons and tons of z's now uh, at the same time we're also getting close to the next collectible so we're going to be uh, hopping up on the old upgrade kit and the comic book page here in a second of course, me, you know me, I got to, got to look at all, got to look at all. Got to, got, to, got to pop all those boxes and find out what's inside. I actually love throwables. If you've watched me play Apex or any other games, any chance I have to throw any kind of explodey stuffs or, you know, damaging goods, I always love to pick those up and grab them. Now, speaking of grabbing them, we're actually to the next collectible. The upgrade kit is going to be right down the way here. We're going to take a hard left. Once you see this building that's kind of split, you've got the trap out front with the orangish kind of tan building, and then it's got the brick building on the left of the staircase. We're actually going to hop right up that staircase following our guy, Ty. Well, here, we're going to take out a few more bad guys. And there is a bridge. We don't want to go there yet. That's where the next objective is, so don't go over there as the bridge, I do believe, raises. It might not raise right away, but you definitely want to grab this before you go over there. Let's just put it that way. Upgrade kit should be in here on the floor. Now, just as a quick reminder, too, if you are playing co-op, all of the collectibles are picked up by uh, both players. So, like, if a comic book page gets picked up by me, Tyler gets credit for it as well. However, the upgrade kits do not count that way. You have to pick them up individually. All right, we're across the bridge now. We're going to go up the stairs as soon as we get across. And inside this room, tucked around the corner, up the stairs, on the ledge there. Ah, where is it? There it is, on the chair. I knew it was right there, but... All right, it's going to be Cargo of Death comic book page. And in the back is another big chest we can open up, or a crate. And inside, it's a flamethrower. It's about to get hot up in here. And we got a little bit of time before we get to the next chapter. There's basically a huge battle ensues. We have to uh, not only find the cog wheels for the mechanism there, but we also have to put them in there and then defend it. 
So that's the next couple of minutes. Again, a great time right now if you have already completed this or if you just know how to do it, feel free to use the quick link to get to chapter two and then hit that pause arena until you get caught up in the video. So you can see we made a big edit there. Uh, we have uh, basically found the cogs. Now, I do want to point out too that those uh, the objectives for like the fuel canisters and the cogs, they are not always in the same spots. So, uh, you know, although we could have showed you where they were and followed you, you know, you could have followed along and got, they might not be in the same spots for you. The good news is, is that there is a reticle up top. Now it's not showing now, but if you go back a little bit, there's an arrow that tells you where to go. So it, it's, the game is actually super helpful and that might be an attribute of the easy mode. And if that is the case, if it's not the same in medium or hard, you guys might really want to play this on easy, not only because it's easier, but because it actually tells you and shows you what to do. And then you can come back and play this game on hard with your friends and you'll know where everything is and how to do everything. And it just work out a little better. All right. We've officially got uh, the area defended. Now we just got to get to the boat, which come on, boat, get up here. Get a little boats and hoes, boats and hoes. Come on, man. We got to get it. We got, we got a sing song to do. It's uh, <laughs> uh, oh, man. We're going to go ahead and take a few bad guys out before hopping on the boat as we don't have a choice. Got to protect your neck, of course. Turn around and in. Oh, no. We got an exploder. Ugh. You know, look at how much life I have left. That was a close one. Now, in the streams, we have what we call the cringe rip Brian, which is basically a really terrible illustration of myself with some X's over my eyes indicating that I have died. That is often used as kind of a death counter while we are playing, and that would have almost been the first cringe rip of the video. In fact, I don't think we have any deaths. I don't think I die at all for quite a while. I don't even think I get knocked, which is crazy, because you know me, I always get knocked in games. Even all the way back to my Fortnite days, which I... Kind of shame that I even played that game. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. It's it's a fun game. Was a fun game. All right, we've got a long ride down the boat here. I, I thought about editing a lot of this out, but um, for some reason I didn't. So <laughs> hopefully you're enjoying this weird. We basically just have to take out a few zombies that pop up. You can see they're crawling up along the sides. Now we have officially docked, and now we got to get to the safe room. So we'll get to that safe room, and guess what? That'll be the end of the first segment. And that is the longest one by far. So pat yourselves on the back if you officially survived. And if you're watching this, kind of preloading, getting uh, an idea of where all the collectibles are, uh, you know what's in store. Go ahead and head into the old pizzeria here. And nom, 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 nom. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's actually a uh, chapter complete. Carnivorous Canal Cruise 1 of 4 is done. We got all four of the collectibles there. And uh, we got ranked up, too. In fact, we got quite a bit. Look, look how fast we're ranking up. We were five just a minute ago. Now we're, we're, we're level eight. Now there are challenges too that I keep missing out on. Uh, as I get a little further into the game, I get a little bit more, become more aware of it. But um, all right, we're officially in chapter two now. We've gotten all the stuff that we need to do. Use the weapon bench, upgraded, did all that fun stuff. Actually, we didn't do any of that, but it is available to you. Uh, we're actually making our way along the story. And in fact, we're going to be coming to our next collectible, which happens to be the upgrade kit number two. Now, uh, let's see here. Tyler's already waiting for me, I do believe. He's like, come on, Brian. He's even, uh, I think he's throwing out like a, it's this way. Uh, all right, there we go. There he is. Uh, this one's actually rather tricky as there's kind of a hidden staircase and a little pond here. There are two ways to go, but only one results in a collectible. So you're going to go to the right, make your way up the white stairs, and wrap around the corner. On the bench, there should be that upgrade kit. Woo to the who! All right, we got a little bit of time before we get to the document number two, which is the next collectible. So feel free to use those quick links down below in the video description. And if you're just trudging along with us, and uh, you know, I know some of you guys like to just hit play on the video and then play along with us. Unfortunately, there's going to be a little bit of pausing required on your side because of the edits. But this level, I mean, I don't know if you really wanted to listen to me flap my yapper for over an hour and 20 minutes. But that's how long this video was without any speed ups or removal. So, um, all right, we've gone across the bridge. We're a little bit further. Now we have to survive the flamer ambush. This, I do believe, is the first time we've seen one of these biggies. He does have a flamethrower on his back, and it is the sweet spot to hit. You want to hit that big glowing red object. You can see we've done some damage. It's spewing out flames on both sides, but he is not officially done yet. Now, I do want to note, too, if you do have the perk on for the um, takedown. Boy, a little brain fart there. Uh, basically, you can run up and hit the X or A button, and it should take them down. That applies to uh, the big guys with the buzz saws that we'll see later. Um, and they're like a big circular saw, not to spoil it for you, but there are some baddies that uh, are definitely better 
uh, fought by using the takedowns. There's some armored giants and stuff too. Uh, definitely a fun fact that we'll show you as time goes on. Now, I do love how this game kind of shows you your progress as you hit minor milestones to the bigger completion stuffs. Like that right there was nice. We get to see we're just barely getting started on one of those. We can do 5,000 zombie limbs or something. We got 100 or 500. Anyways, up the stairs to the right in the red building. That's right, the building with red on it has the white ivory stairs. Go ahead and go up in there and trudge your way through the building until you get to this giant crate here. Now, that is a weapon attachment. That's not all we're in here for, though. There's also a document. Now, you'll have to excuse my which way do I go, which way do I go moment in here as we're going back and forth trying to find it. Eventually, Tyler leads me right to it. It is, nope, not this way. Turn around, go back. Already been, no, nope, no, nope, right up, right, 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 in this room, no. Nope. Some of these doors open too, by the way. It's kind of tricky. Some of the levels uh, have these doors that look like they're closed and you can't get through, but they are you know, very openable. All right, here it is. We ran right by it. It's sitting in this first room here. Uh, I guess it's at the top of the stairs. Is that right? No, I guess it's on the way out. Anyways, it's in the kitchen-ish room on the ledge there sorry sorry about that that was a little confusing i apologize when tyler doesn't know where i'm going i certainly have no clue where i'm going so <laughs> there is a couple of uh flubbubs like that as the game goes on but for the most part we get gooder -er. that's right we get better as time goes on and these videos should become way more efficient especially since this is the only one like i said that is um you know kind of back and forth getting on and off of the boat and all these long drawn out battles that uh, start in one place and kind of finish in another so it's hard to edit those out so like I said this video was a lot longer and I'm happy I got it down to the short time span that I currently have it uh, but we are uh, almost ending up with this zombie yep look at that we've officially taken out the blood seal now we got to find that button as the door is now officially open we can advance on through it and no ammo for you it is only the pistol I thought watch this look at this I'm working on my hood slides there. I, I don't know why. It's, sometimes it's a little quirky. Ooh, and we finally meet our first big... This isn't a biggie. He is a, he's kind of like a mini boss. Um, you want to shoot him in the heart region there, but he does resurrect tons of bad guys, and he just basically spawns them until you take him down. So uh, he is called the Commander, and we will uh, take him da -da 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 down. Uh, there are two ways to get up there, left and right side, and I do highly recommend getting up close to him, shooting him, and then stomping his body, as that is the most efficient way to make sure that they are gone. All right, so as you return back after the blood seal animation there, we're actually going to find that there are still some baddies out trying to thwart our plans. Ooh, there was a takedown right there I had charged up. I should have definitely used it. We are going to make sure that we get this zombie hand before we bounce out. This one's kind of funny. He's just right in the pathway running circles here. I actually get confused and take out a rat. Look at that. That aim, though. I actually finally hit a moving target, but it's not the right one. But this nice rug here, you can see our buddy rolls around. I think this guy's name is Edgar. That's right. They all have uh, some sort of name that I guess is relevant to some sort of... Uh, scary character or something I, I don't know the last one we saw was gary or one of the last ones i thought that was pretty funny too htg gary spelled his name with two r's and that zombie hand did too so kind of funny uh all right upstairs we go right where the commander was up and around to the star here and uh look at you see you can open and close that door so you might have to do that inside we find that we have to gather in shanty town so we're getting pretty close to another huge battle where we have to defend uh, like a, a post. And there's a couple of things we have to take out. We'll show you. Well, sort of. Tyler does all the hard work for us. So I apologize for not having first-hand footage of the ceiling of the rifts. But all right. we are As soon as we drop down, we're actually going to follow Tyler down. Watch out. That next step's a doozy, especially if you didn't take your lava drill. We're going to go down and off to the kind of middle right over here. There's this womanly statue. We're going to go right by that, right next to the trap and under this uh, little shanty up the stairs. This is crazy. I know. I know. Up and around. And we're going to climb up. Like, how he finds these things, I don't know. But look at that. He's going to climb inside the window. And in here, we find, well, a little bit of shopping to do. And in the next room, on the end of the bed there, we find comic page number two. That is right. It's Sniper is the name of it. Pretty cool. Maybe Carl's on the front. Carl. All right. Uh, back out the window we go, and we've got a little bit of a battle that happens, or a lot of bit of a battle, really, uh, before we get to the next collectible, which would be the last one, and it's a heroic action. 
So if you've got all the collectibles for this particular area, like the document and all that, you don't want to skip this because this is an action that you can easily miss and it would be terrible for you to have to play this, at least this chapter of the level over again just to get that last part. So go ahead and regroup up top. Now you're going to see a handful of edits as Tyler does <laughs> some back flippery. Uh, now, basically, I'm just hanging out up here preparing for the attack. There's all sorts of mines and grenades that you can lay out there. Of course, just kind of get a layout of the land. I was hoping that that shark was going to do something fun, but unfortunately, not in this level. But uh, once it kicks in, you got to survive the zombie horde. There's going to be guys coming from all which ways, and then eventually, it starts raining zombies. That's right. It's raining zombies. Not hallelujah. There's there's no hallelujah. But it does. It actually starts raining in a little bit. So I, I've actually fast forward through a lot of the battle because I didn't figure you wanted to see me hit about 50% of my shots, uh, which is definitely the case at times. Uh, you know, you swing sometimes and you try to pop and, you know, swing and pop. And you miss that pop and it looks bad. But so far so good there. All right. So now we have to seal the rifts. Tyler's actually done one of them. And again, this is one of those things that it might not spawn in the exact spot for you, but there should be two stars out there. You can see there's one out there. He's running to it right now, and he's officially sealed it. I, get, I think all you have to do is press and hold X or A, whatever, whatever the icon is indicated there. Uh, once they're both sealed, you actually get back, and then you have to get to the safe room. But this is where the heroic action is. As you can see, we already have the titling there. We're going to follow Tyler to the event that's next. We have to get to the safe room, which is the star. But on the way, we're going to take a hard left, which is easily missed. And we're going to find there is a guy being attacked by some zombies. And we just got to save him from being attacked before he gets bitten to death. Here we go. We're going to go under this little archway here. And then hang a left after we... So you, there's the stairs you're supposed to follow. Do not go up the stairs. Go left. And around the corner, you should see Buddy hanging out there. Hi. Hello. Go ahead and save him. In fact, there was only like two or three zombies back here for us. And look at that. People's Hero Unlocked. we got a heroic action, which not only gets us paid, but it is a collectible. So that's pretty sweet. And we're going to cross over this bridge. And guess what's left? Nothing. We just got to get into that safe house. So there's a part of this game that really feels a lot like Left 4 Dead. You know, jumping from safe house to safe house to safe house. Um, and there's definitely a lot that feels like Sniper Elite, too, with, like, the slow-mo cams and the, the really cool explosions and things. And So uh, I'm loving it. I don't know about you guys, but I am loving this game. And it's been really nice having Tyler kind of carry me through most of this, as you can see here. Uh, he got about 40 more kills than me. <laughs> and my percentage was better, though. I was making jokes about me being 50%. You see that? I was 73%. That's kind of on point, if I'm being honest. All right, we have officially arrived in Chapter 3. And as you can see, there is a small group of zombies that are trying to prevent us from locating Hell Tower. I'm going to follow Tyler across the bridge and over to the left into this corner room here. And then hang a hard left into this room where the upgrade kit should be chilling, waiting for you to procure. Go ahead and snag that up. And we're actually going to turn around and basically run right back across the bridge and go find a, another collectible. It happens to be the document number three. Uh, let's see. We're going to go around and... All right. So a couple of zombies. And there's the blood fountain. So before you activate the blood fountain, it's important that you want to go over to this other staircase on the backside. So cross by it. On the left side, after you pass it, there should be a nice staircase to kind of go back up and in. And there she blows. It is document three. Swoop it up. Thank you very much. Ooh, nacho propaganda. Go ahead and activate the blood fountain now, and we will go ahead and edit a majority of this battle out. It probably takes anywhere from three to ten minutes, depending on your aim, how many zombies are here, how many people are playing, what difficulty you're on. There's all sorts of factors. So uh, you should step up and actually hit a button that should activate it. And then it's important that you take out the bad guys whilst they are inside the red glowy circle. As you can see, they're all spawning outside of the circle. But once they walk inside, if you take them down, their blood left behind will fill up the fountain. And look at that. Now we eventually lead to a safe passage out of there. Look at me. Can you tell I play Apex Legends? <laughs> a little bit of sliding happening there. But uh, essentially, you got to go up and over the bridge. And we do get attacked by a bunch of these exploder kind of suicider zombies. Um, and, and, and then we have to battle up top. There's a big cutscene. I removed it out because we didn't want to see it. Another Resurrector shows up. This guy's a little different, though. You have to take... It, it's actually called a Shadow Demon. And he does bring his own bad guys. And eventually... I mean, he takes a lot of shots, too. Just for the record, he got killed probably ten times and resurrected himself. Pop back up. And we finally got him. And now we are out of here. Look at that for the moment. I have more points than Tyler. Shh. Don't tell him. 
All right, uh, as we keep on with the keeping on, we're going to find ourselves making our way to Hell Tower still. As we go through this lovely courtyard, we find a few Zeezels waiting to be removed. And we should be getting pretty close to the next collectible. Yes, I do believe it's right here. Ooh, there was a takedown I missed out on. All right, we get into this next courtyard here. We're going to hang a right into this under area here. It does cue a cutscene where we get to see the spitters for the first time. I did kind of leave a little bit of that there, but I removed that as well just to save more time. This video is taking forever. Inside the room on the right on the Lazy Boy is going to be the third document for this particular level. So we are making good ground. As I promised, the third and fourth areas were a heck of a lot shorter. I'm going to seek refuge inside this room and try to take out the zombies uh, until the blood seal has been completed. And look at that. It's finally done did. And it opens up the door, giving us access to a whole new area. So I'm going to make my way over to that star. Tyler is too. He's stealing all those attachments. It's no wonder he gets so much more damage and more kills because he got all the goods. And I'm just now realizing this. Here's a little Stranger Things homage. I guarantee you there's some sort of uh, shooting or something you can do with those lights or this room that will open up that safe. But we did not have the answer to that right now. We'll have to come back to that. But uh, as we progress through, following to the star, we're going to make our way into what is going to be the safe room up top. But don't go up there yet. You're going to want to go down and around on the back side of the boats here. There is a moving canister that's right you're gonna want to pop the lid off that and take out buddy now pay no attention to the fact that i need to spend about seven days at the shooting gallery and i think i eventually get him i think i punch him or something yeah look at that there it is i was preemptive i hadn't got to gary yet but there it is right there so i kind of spoiled it earlier sometimes when you edit you lose track of when you got when you saw things my bad anyways that is chapter three in a nutshell and look at that oh so close he only got two more kills than me accuracy was in my favor there too so you know you got to appreciate the little things i don't remember where i heard that but somebody important once said that <laughs> i know where i heard it come on now all right last but not least chapter four we're going to step up onto this platform here and we find ourselves a giant generator in need of some help in fact we're going to move a circuit breaker piece from that side wall there over to the generator here and say in fact i think tyler does it uh he does something here. I don't know what he does. It says regroup on the terrace. Maybe he already did it, actually, and we're just waiting for it. Sometimes the game's a little slow to recognize uh, things that have happened. Like, we have to discharge the electricity at one point in a little bit. And it seems like it takes a long time. Now, maybe it's just me. Maybe I cut the game a little slack. But uh, regardless, this is no different than the other chapters. We do have quick links down below for all four of the collectibles. And they are back to back to back to back. So if you already know what to do, or maybe you're just fighting your way through this, uh, just go ahead and click the quick link for the upgrade kit number four, and it'll take you right to all four of the collectibles, literally back to back. So uh, fight off the generator, and then once it's done it did, you're going to have to discharge the electricity into the water. The door on the left should open up and give you access down there, which will allow us basically the free reign to this whole area here. Let's see here. Where's that door at? we got to flip the switch first. Flip switch, discharge the electricity. And this is what I feel like it takes forever. Maybe Tyler just now flipped it, but I feel like he already did flip it. And it's just taking its sweet, sweet time. Now, uh, there we go. Repair the generators. There are two other generators that we need to find and defend. And we're going to go ahead and get to them. Now, there's a giant shark hanging in the back there, too. Did you guys see that? There's a lot of those sharks hanging out around here. I'm not a fan of zombie sharks. I don't know about you guys. And I was wrong. I said the door was on the left. It's actually on the right. So uh, feel free to use that door. Get out of here now that we have discharged the electricity. Or is there a door on the left, too? I think there is a door over there. I can't tell. We're, we're like, we, we need to get the heck out of here. Like, we should have been already Gandhi and all the way to one of those generators. But we're just sitting here fighting. In fact, you know what it was? Tyler had to go grab something. He had a phone call or something that came in. That's right. I totally forgot about that. And then I'm like, all right, I'm out of here, guy. But there is a door on the left. So I wasn't wrong. Whip, 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 whip. All right. Enough sound effects. I can't even barely talk. All right, we're going to do another edit right here. In fact, I don't even think you could tell. I didn't do the fade. It just, boom, uh, removed about two minutes worth of time. And guess what? It's upgrade kit. Uh, in fact, before you leave this room, you're going to want to come back into this little cubby. And on the, yep, there it is. On the giant barrel is the fourth and final upgrade kit for this level. Next up, we've got the zombie hand. This guy is uh, pretty funny. What, what, wait till you see this one. He is rolling around on a boat, yo! Rosemary getting her, <laughs> I guess, catching some rays out on a boat on a nice sunny day. 
Uh, next up, we've got document number four, which is actually right above, looking down on Rosemary on the bench there. So last but not least, we've got that comic page. For all you comic book readers out there, we're going to go ahead and follow Tyler down and around to the right now. And this big building on the right. And let's see here. We're going to go down and under the shark. So watch out. I was actually really suspect of this shark trying to bite me. As you can see, I'm like, no. Up we go past all the, did you see all that barnacles on the ground there? That's pretty crazy. In a room full of spawning zombies. In the back right corner on the desk is the comic. So that was a little bit of a crazy run. Hopefully it was easy to follow. This level itself was insane in the membrane. I don't even want to get into it. Like, I'm telling you, hour and 20 minutes worth of footage chopped up into about 34. And I, I'm, I'm expecting all of the other videos from here on out to be like 20 minutes or less. Like, I really am. Now, they all have four sections. They all have at least four collectibles per section. And uh, we're going to show you all of them. In fact, as of this recording right now, Tyler and I have recorded all the way through level six. So we got a pretty good idea of what is ahead as far as the levels and the outcomes. And uh, I do feel like we're getting better or gooder -er as time goes on because, uh, you know, we're just we're, it's just easier. It's smarter. It's, it's better. It's more efficient. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, he knows where everything is. So he's just guiding me right to it. All right, uh, one last little battle here for D Generator A, and then uh, then we got to go over and uh, defend Generator 2, and then that's actually it. You know, part of me wanted to just leave all of this out, but I know I get a lot of praise for completing the stuff because sometimes there's like one last little tidbit or something that's not as obvious as one might think, and, and some people get stuck on that stuff. So I do want to point out, too, that in the water, the zombies do seem to move faster than you, even if you are running i don't know if this is considered running but uh they do move a little bit faster than you so be aware of that when trudging your way through the waters now we've officially made it over to the next generator i do believe i do believe it's right over here and uh, yep start generator a and booyah kashao it is up now we just got to defend it which we have uh, edited that out now we have to release the electric charge once that is done, we can actually make our way to the safe house, and that'll wrap up the level for us. So, pretty sweet. I got to be honest. I wasn't sure if my voice was going to hold up for this. I'm still fighting that cold, you guys, and I hope that it isn't too noticeable in my voicery. But uh, I should be back to normal here, hopefully sooner than later. Put that electric charge. Hopefully I'm out of the water before it dissipates. But uh, <laughs> look at Hector. Hell's bells. All right, stamina is low. We are almost back to... Oh, that's right. we got to release the charge from the start point. So where that generator was that we were originally protecting, that is where we flip the lever and where the final spot is. And then we're actually at the safe house. So we can just drop down in and call her good. Or no, there's no even safe house. It just takes us to the end. Watch this. Lever flipped. Cutscene ensues. Normally, I remove those, but this one is extra greasy. So there's like the giant hand that goes up. We go running. Hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. Run, 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 run. Go, go, go. Jump. Make the jump. Now watch this. Ready for this? Most epic jump of all time. Come on, Carl. <laughs> That's pretty epic. Way to go, Rebellion. That is, uh, had me on the edge of my seat. And with a little bit of lightning. I thought, too, that uh, there's, there's, you'll see as time goes on, there's some, uh, some stuff that happens in that seat. And uh, I feel like a... a, a superimposed head of mine on that body is going to be pretty funny but hey we got all four of those collectibles and we wrapped up death canal i hope you guys enjoyed this video because it was a pain in the ass if i'm being honest but uh guess what that's gonna wrap it up thanks for tuning in to zombie army Z Zom zombie zombie army i guess the b is silent apparently zombie army four level two booyaka show as always until next time oh, yeah.